So we're going to use what we call a beak cloth. Uh, it's a cloth about 1.3 metres wide, uh, about 1.5 to 2 metres deep, depending on how tall your crop is. They've got uh, lengths of dowel at either side, and that's to give you a straight, firm edge. So one edge we'll place in against the plants in one row, and the other edge we drape over plants in the adjacent row. Now the reason we do that is so when we beat the plants here, the insects that get thrown out don't get thrown into these plants, they're caught. We're sampling with a metre stick and that's narrower than the sheet and the reason it's that the sheet is wider is so we catch any insects that splay out either side when I shake. So if I'm going to shake I step back and round to these plants here and then I get down and I've got the stick about a third of the way up the plants so I bend them over and then I shake very vigorously and then I give them a little flick and pull them back away from the sheet and flick anything down into the sheet. Some leaves have come off but don't worry about the damage because in the scheme of things we're sampling only a very tiny percentage of the crop and the benefits of making the correct decision because we sample properly far outweigh any tiny amount of damage we might cause. I'm looking closely uh, and we can see some, a couple of veggie bugs. We can see a, there was a green mirrored that crept off, so you count any insects that uh, are rapid flyers. There's a little mirrored nymph there. We've got a green veggie bug. Would probably be a third instar nymph, and we can tell that by the size with the uh, large number of pale spots. We've also assessed the stage of the crop. This crop is at early pod set. Uh, we've got 10 to 14 days before we get to early pod fill, so we wouldn't be worried about veggie bugs. We'll be, won't be taking action till then. There's very little activity here, uh, but that may be just at this one site. So to get a true picture of what's happening at this part of the paddock, we'd have to go and take another four samples. And to get a true idea of the whole paddock, we need to sample five to six sites across the whole paddock, taking five samples at each site.